Hello everyone and welcome to the third question in this series. So, I'll put it up on the screen. Consider the differential equation cosine x y prime plus sine x y is equal to 3 sine squared x times cosine cubed of x where 0 is less than, less than or equal to x which is strictly less than pi half. So the first part of the problem is without solving the differential equation, find the y prime of x over 4 for the solution through the point x over 4 and 1. So for this, you just move, since uh, x is strictly less than pi half, we know that we can, uh, without any problems, we can divide by cosine. And then just move everything that's not y prime to the right hand side and then just plug in all the x's and y's and all the sines and cosines will become 1 over square root of 2 and yeah you you get the point you just do the math okay <laughs> i'm not going to do that uh, kind of pointless just plug everything in but the second one determine all the solutions of the differential equation now we're talking so Firstly, as I just uh, said before, we want to divide by cosine everywhere because we want to have the form y prime plus some function of x times y is equal to something. So uh, we would, of course, get y prime plus sine x over uh, cosine x. Uh, y is equal to 3 sine squared of x times cosine squared of x because we're dividing by cosine and now so we would get that our function p of x we can call it is then uh, equal to sine x over cosine so as you know the integrating factor is e to the power of the primitive function of p so firstly we need to find the primitive function what is the primitive function of sine over cosine of x? Well, that is just taking the integral. And if you were to do a variable substitution with, say, u equals cosine, then you would very quickly see that a, a primitive function of p is uh, minus ln of cosine of x, meaning that e to the power of our primitive is therefore 1 over cosine of x because you move the minus out and then you take e to the ln so you just get cosine and then cosine to the power of minus 1 so it's 1 over cosine so therefore we multiply by the uh, integrating factor everywhere and then we know that we can then uh, lump up these two terms using the uh, product rule so therefore we would have that so i'm doing uh, two steps in one step here okay so we multiply by this everywhere and then we lump up the these two terms so therefore we would have that it's y times the integrating factor meaning just y divided by cosine of x and we know that this would then be equal to three times sine squared x times cosine just cosine of x this time so now we need to find for to solve this uh, we take the integral on both sides uh, dx of course and what is the integral of this uh, well we make a little, quick little a variable substitution u uh, is equal to sine x meaning that uh, du dx is equal to cosine x also meaning that dx is equal dx times cosine so this part here is just uh, du so therefore this whole thing would be equal to the integral of 3 u squared u which is obviously just u cubed plus c which is equal to sine cubed of x plus c and we obviously we still have the divided by cosine there so we then put that 
y is equal to, so we just multiply everything by cosine. So we have sine cubed of x times cosine of x plus c times cosine of x. And then we're done with the second part. So this is the complete complete solution. We have one unknown variable. Yes, I can write that also. Uh, c is some real number. And for the third part, we're supposed to verify that your result from B matches your result from A. And since we didn't do A, I'm not going to do this one either. <laughs> well, it isn't really that hard. You just find out what C you have to use for it to work uh, in that case. And then you just see that, it's, oh, it's the same. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm not going to do that as I said. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Check out the link in the description. Hope you enjoyed the video. And moving on to problem number four.